This is Brother Polite. And we're here to really talk to you. I always say talk to me nice. But you know, people think it's a game. It's not about ego. It's not about being arrogant. But I am the way I am because people are the way they are. People are constantly attempting to tear me down. You got agents out there that whenever I talk my talk and empower the people, they always want to be the detractors. They always want to distract you from the facts. So I'm asking you all, you know, share the video because I am the financial messiah. I do my stuff differently from a lot of people. And a lot of people like to act like I'm not the one that was making people millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of dollars off of the stock program, which I'm bringing back next month. I'm bringing back the stock program next month. I'm bringing back the end of money text next month. It's not going to be on that website, bubblight.com. Don't shop there. We're going to have a whole new site. Enough said. That's coming back next month, so just be patient. And many of you know you made money off of that. And I'm asking you guys, send me your testimonials, okay? Send it to the DM here. Send me your testimonials, how much money you made idealistically, how you've been empowered by my stock classes and everything. Right now, we're going to talk about this credit because I charge $2,000 for you to get access to anywhere between 50 grand to 300 grand that you do not have to pay back. One of any of a number of opportunities to get monies that you do not have to pay back. Also getting you several credit cards that have real limits on it. All real credit lines, I should say. Okay? Unlimited credit cards. Credit cards with no late fees. No annual fees. Come on now. But that's not enough. So by the time I get you lit with the grants, lit with the loans you don't have to pay back, the credit cards, I have you walking around with a million dollars of assets. But people say, man, but why 2000 you're getting all this money made available to you. All this money is made available to you. The only thing I asked was 2000 up front and give me 10% on the back end. And that's a, that's a problem. Then people say, it sounds too good to be true. So I had to over here damn near lie and be like, yeah, you can get 100000 50000 When I know damn well the way that I teach and the way that I operate, I'm going to get you damn near a million dollars, if not more or a little less. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to get to it. Watch this. Just want you to watch this. Because... It's all about dealing with facts. But you help. People say, where the celebrities at? Since you're making all this money, are you helping any celebrities? I'm a celebrity mentor. Yes. Then they say, well, how come his friends and family ain't making the money? Then I show you the friends and family making the money. You know what they say? Well, that's his friends and family. Cool. So then it becomes a matter of, let's see some people we don't know. But you know what happens when they see people they don't know give testimonials. We don't know those people. The people are probably hired. They're paid. They're actors. They're looking in the air. They're looking in the sky. They, they're reading what they're saying. These people are not professional speakers. These are just everyday people making their money. But anyway, I just want you guys to take a look at something. All right. Let's take a look at something. Take a look at something real quick. Let's take a look. Let's take a look real quick. Cuts. Floyd Mayweather. Follow his movement. Smart man, he help you invest, help take your credit to the next level. You already My know. My man, brother, for life. My brother, no. money made. Ah! Okay, so that's Floyd Mayweather, huh? Brother, for life. My brother. That's right, family man. Follow his movement. Smart man, he help you invest, help take your credit to the next level. You already My know. My man, brother, for life. My brother, no. money made. Ah! So, you know, I'm putting the folder, the files together so you can see what the deal is. Hey, look at Metal World Peace, NBA champion, made that special three with Kobe. Polite, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's risky for me. Hold on, let's, let's go. Let's do it. You know, another multi-millionaire. A lot of inspiration from Polite, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's risky for me, you know, being in corporate America sometimes to be, you know, associated with somebody that they are going to give a bad name. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Polite, he's very passionate. You know, up to, I reached out to him, to some of my people in Brooklyn. I got to meet this guy, very inspirational. And it's been, and it's been nothing, but uh, he, he, changed, he changed my life a lot. He, he helped me evolve a lot. What was it that made you decide that you needed to get a mentor, though? Like, what was it in his YouTubes that inspired you? And what made you say, you know what, I need somebody to help me? Yeah, well, I got many mentors. I got different type of mentors, you know, whether it's business mentors. You know, uh, and, and, and polite, uh, he's a very small businessman. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just very spiritual, you know, um, is, uh, all about love and all about empowering and, and, um, and very smart, you know, and I, and I, it's just an honor to be around somebody 
as intelligent as polite. Now, polite, why is it whenever a black man... Now, 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 let's do this. For the person that said, well, Floyd don't have credit problems, so it's easy for him to suggest you. First of all, I mean, this man is a billionaire. He's made over a billion just in boxing alone. He owns skyscrapers in New York City. He did. He accomplished all these things drug free, and people still hate on him. But a separate, separate from that point, he suggests to people to come to me to get their credit done. I've repaired people on the money scene credit. You got the the brother who does Floyd's clothing, the TMT clothing. The guy who does Floyd's TMT clothing, he came to me. I boost his credit score up hundreds of points. He's now in the eight hundreds. Pack. And those of you that know Pac, I call him Pac, man. But those of you that know Pac, you know. If you know, you know. You got action. Floyd's the one that told him, yo, go to Brother Polite. He's not the only one that Floyd sends to me. Okay, so people's brain is so limited in a chat. That's easy for Floyd to suggest you to do it because he don't got no credit problems. Like, and that's how wild you are. I'm not saying Floyd got credit problems, but believe it or not, people who appear to be wealthy do have credit problems. They come to me to repair those situations. Because when they get into credit issues, it's in the millions. And it impacts their score horribly. You know, wealthy people get foreclosures, right? But anyway, let's, let's, let's keep going. Let's really go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's keep going. It's always excuses. It's always excuses. But let's keep going. But like I said, this is from the folder because I'm about to put some things on. Rolls Royce Diaries. This is my brother T Walk right here. What's up? What's up? People always asking, are you the only one benefiting, brother Polite? What about the people that fuck with you? This is one of my students. And as you can see, he playing. That's all me, man. Lambo doors. Rolls Royce stars in the ceiling. Because he let me rob his Rolls Royce. Let me manifest it. I seen it. I'm like, all right, it's possible. Another young black man like me can do it. Why can't I? Why Real can't talk. I? Why can't you? Real talk. Fix my credit. My credit was trash. 590, 35 days, 806, pulled up. They checked my credit score. They showed me mad respect. You want coffee? Would you like some water? <laughs> All that. Whole different energy, you heard? Whole different energy. So I don't want to be... Score was 598. It actually was as low as 590. And as you can see, it is now up to a 766. And this isn't updated because I just got a new car last week. When they ran my credit, it said 805. And then my credit was... Okay, so that's a brother. You may know him as T-Walk on the internet. He's doing real good. I done mentor him in health. He's doing exceptional things, teaching people about health. Okay? But I also, he came to me, and I took his credit from the 500s into the 800s. Okay? So I'm telling you, you got to stop with this. Stop with the hating. Spend $2,000 and get access to anywhere between 50 grand and 300 grand that you don't have to pay back. Get a caseworker that'll be assigned to your credit exclusively and immediately. Get me as your mentor so I can prepare you for the funds that's coming in, thereby empowering you with the ability to be more cognizant about investments that you can make to grow the money. But please don't take my word for it because I'm just a high school dropout. I have no credentials. Always double check with a CPA, an accountant, financial advisor of some sort to make sure you are making intelligible decisions. OK, but I have the right to share my experiences and you need to go double check and make sure it checks out and that you don't do nothing in error. All right. But it's two thousand dollars. You get access to mentorship, a caseworker and a website so you can track your results. So you can see when we send something out, when the bureaus and I'm sending us something back, when you have funding, when the funding will clear. Like who's doing all of that? And then all I ask is for 10 percent on the back end. I hope you get 200 grand that you don't have to pay back. Give me 20,000. I hope you get a hundred grand that you don't have to pay back. Give me 10,000. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. The 2,000 is out the window because that's what we're using on the service. We spend anywhere between 640 and $680 on mail, send it to 30 different credit bureaus and financial institutions. Register mail via green card receipt, signature confirmation which goes through a chain of custody where at least three people from the mailing system or postal system have to bear witness that that mail is being sent in addition to you making four people. So that way no one can say that they didn't get the mail so that they'll be reprimanded fiscally or financially 
That is to say, if they say they didn't get the mail, TransUnion, Sparing, Equifax, uh, LexisNexis, uh, check system spelled with an X, whoever, if they say they didn't get it, the way we send the letters out, it's going to be a twenty, thirty thousand dollars fine every time. So they have to be a witness. But it gets deeper. You don't even realize the settlement money that's due you based on the inefficiency and the lack of protection that the credit bureaus have given you as a people because you're not even aware of it. But we're, we're gonna go into that. You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com, you leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to spend the $2,000. Leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to spend the $2,000. You don't have to tell us you'll be ready next week, next month. Don't say, oh, I didn't know you was going to call me today. I thought maybe you would have called me a week or two from now. There's no logic behind that. There's no reason to say you're ready. And then when we contact you, say, I didn't know you was going to call me today. There's no reason for that. So don't do the illogical stuff. If you say you're ready, you're ready. Okay? And I left it here, pinned to the top. Brother, polite, 45 at gmail.com. That's P-O-L-I-G-H-T. Pride, optimism, love, integrity, gallant, honesty, and trust. Okay. Now let's go. Let's keep it going. Damn, why are these videos so tiny shit? Let's go. What's up? My name is Josh, yo. Hey, so this is a testimony. I just want to give y'all a heads up real quick, man. It's real. I had 15 items came off my credit. I had eight hard inquiries. I just got approved for 80,000. Life changing. So if you want your life changed, you know exactly what to do. Everything's off my credit, bro. It's clean, clear, crystal clear. Windex glass. It's clean. My credit's clean, it's clear. I never really cared about credit because I didn't have good credit. But I'm super excited. And Polite just got me approved for like eighty thousand mm. that I don't even have to pay back. Crazy. I'm tired of investing in other people and their dreams. Having jobs, working for people. I'm not saying I don't care and I don't want to help nobody, I do. But it's it's time for me. Did you hear that? He just got approved for eighty thousand dollars he didn't have to pay back. It's actually over eighty two thousand dollars to be exact. Okay? He got approved for eighty thousand dollars he doesn't have to pay back. But people want to play games with me. Hold on, it's not over with though. Let's check this brother out. Hey, my name is Lloyd Johnson. Um, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I just want to do a short video saying Brother Polite really helped me. My score went over 100 points. And just today, I received an email saying that uh, I'm going to get a settlement from the um, Equifax. All I got to say is thank Polite. You see what I'm saying? Now, Someone said, at what point do you pay the $2,000 if the person's already in financial trouble? I don't know why people make it so difficult. You either have the $2,000 to spend or you don't. If you don't, get the $2,000 and spend it on, and invest it on yourself. It's simple. Stop making stuff so difficult. At what point do they pay the $2,000 if they're having financial problems? You pay the $2,000 when you have the $2,000. You don't say that when you have to buy a house and when you have to buy a car. At what point do I buy the $40,000 car? When you have the $40,000 or whatever the minimum payment is and the credit criteria is. Why you make it difficult when it comes to me? Start with the trick questions. Now here's a man who's getting six figures from an Equifax settlement that he ain't got to pay back now. Thanks to Brother Polite. And I boost his credit score over 100 points. And you see these people from different places. I think he said he's from Ohio. Let me see where he said he's from. Let me see. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me see where he said he's from. Let me see. Hey, my name is Lloyd Johnson. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I just want to do a short video saying Brother Polite really helped me. My score went over 100 points. And just today, I received a email saying that uh, I'm going to get a settlement from the um, Equifax. All I got to say is thanks, polite. There you go. Appreciate that. There we go. 
Okay. Why am I still using Gmail? Like, this is the type of weird shit that goes on. Anyway, let's go to the next one. My name is Fatima Hadi, and I'm hailing from Los Angeles, California. And um, I just wanted to give my appreciation and show my thanks to Brother Polite, who has deleted over 20 items from my credit report. And my score has gone up 100 points, and I'm just super excited. And, um, yeah, it's, it's up. Oh, my gosh. Okay. My name is Fatima Hadi, and I'm hailing from Los Angeles, California. And um, I just wanted to give my appreciation and show my thanks to Brother Polite, who has deleted over 20 items from my credit report. And my score has gone up 100 points, and I'm just super excited. And, um, yeah, it's, it's up. Hey, you know what? Speaking of Jube, I see you in the comments. There you go. Listen, man. My name is Deshaun Hoffman. I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? The slums. Anybody know anything about Trenton? You know the slums. I don't care if it's the capital. Trenton, New Jersey is the slums. I'm from Trenton. And we want to talk about actual facts. My man, brother, polite is the truth. When it comes to that CRM, yo, big bro took my score from around 580. I'm, I'm, I'm 850 across the board right now. You know what I'm talking about? Like, stop playing with it, man. All hands on deck, man. Invest in yourself, man. Get into that CRM, man. Credit Restoration Microwave. Brother Polite is the truth. You guys got to stop playing, man. Hit up Brother Polite at 45 at gmail.com, man. Stop wasting your time. It's only two bands. Do you hear what he said? Eight fifties across the board. Talk to him. Eight fifty across the board. You hear what he's saying? Eight fifty. That I boost his credit over 200 points across the board. He's in the 800s now. And he's expecting a six-figure fat check over 150 k He ain't got to pay back. And no, the king said he got me on my 10%, my 15 grand. That's where I really get the pay at, on the back end. But it's $2,000 up front. Trenton, New Jersey in the building. Stand up. Stand up. We got, them, we got them cooking in the West Coast in L.A., East Coast, Trenton, New Jersey, Midwest, Ohio. Come on now, talk to me nice. I'm making these people the bread. You see them on every level, every demographic, every tax bracket showing me love. Okay? Because you know I don't be caring about doing testimonials. But I say, you know what? Let me start getting some of these videos. Because they acting like I can't. When y'all know I was going for months straight just doing the stock testimonials. I mastered how to make money. This is the matrix, man. This is the matrix. I mastered it. If you're so rich, why are you charging people? So they can respect it, first and foremost. I'm not coming out of my pocket to spend damn near sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars on each person for them to come up. Cause bad enough when people pay for the the service, they don't even like giving me my little ten percent back. People be having a problem. People who have never seen this much money before get one hundred eighty thousand dollars and think, "Why well, I gotta give you eighteen thousand? Sending me two thousand? Sending me nothing? Effing up the bread coming back? Can we make it again this time? I'm send you the bread." OK, so now what we got to ask people to do is everybody on the video lying. For the people that always like to talk goofy, say that is cap, say this. Now, is everybody part of a conspiracy to lie to make me look good? All these people are lying. You see, because no matter what you do, you got the wicked out there that's always going to go against me. Now they got to convince you. And I got so many of these videos. It can get real redundant. Let me play another one. I got a lot now. <laughs> I got a whole lot. So everybody's part of it. Hold on. We got another one. We got another one. Hey, hello, good people. <laughs> oh, shit. Where's the volume? My bad. Hold on. We'll get that volume right. Yeah, everybody's not capping. Everybody's not capping, so y'all can stop that. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You spend $2,000. When you're ready to spend your $2,000, contact me at brotherpolight45 at gmail.com. 
Leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to spend your $2,000 and get access to anywhere between 50 grand to 300 grand that you don't have to pay back. Also, get a whole bunch of credit cards. Dope as not no regular joints. We're talking 100 bands. So I could teach you how to swipe your credit card to make your investments in money that you normally wouldn't have available, but now you have the money available. So now when you swipe, when you swipe your credit card, we play that swipe that bitch game, right? Swipe that bitch. Swipe, for instance, you could, you could purchase warehouse space from a broker and leverage that purchase into soliciting to a Whole Foods or for a Target with a $50,000 payment down there. And now you're making damn near $200,000 Profit per annual or every year. Simple shit or consumer friendly franchise. Swipe that, swipe that bitch 40, 60, 70 grand. Swipe that card and now you get a consumer friendly franchise. Meaning that let's say I get a ten dollar spot, right? Which I I bought two ten dollar spots when they was around the thirty forty thousands. Okay, one in Greenville, North Carolina, one in Brooklyn. Okay, East New York, East Flatbush. Pardon me. So anyway, what they'll do. They have a store locator process that gives you the highest probability to make a lot of money in a certain area. So it's not like when you open up a store, it's hit or miss. They use advanced metrics to make a determination. The likelihood of you making as much as you can make in any neighborhood, and they'll put you in that place. They'll provide the clothing. They'll provide the training. They'll hire the manager. They'll hire the workers. And all you did was pay for the franchise. Collect your check and nobody even has to know as a black person that's running the business. You put whatever race or demographic you want to be the look of whatever business. It doesn't matter. No one has to know as your black ass owning the business. You collect your checks. You didn't have to have too much knowledge or know-how. Just needed the money. And that's a consumer-friendly franchise. And you could do that with any of another number of other franchises. I'm just giving you one example. $10 spot, $10 shirts, $10 pants, spandex, and all this other shit. Leggings, shit, stuff like that. Okay? And, and, and swipe the credit card, consumer-friendly franchise. And then the way I show you, after having X amount of credit cards, I'll show you with the balance transfer option how to pay off the credit card with another credit card with another credit card, avoid paying interest rates, and get the payments melted down in enough time. So by the time you start receiving returns from the business, it's lucrative. You win and you don't destroy the credit that I help you build up. I got a whole science to the way I do what I do. But nobody ever thinks about credit card investing because we're nervous when it comes to credit in general. You don't have to trust me. But you certain because you don't know me, right? But you didn't know the people that put you into debt with the mortgage. They said you got approved of a $400,000 loan to get your house. But they never showed you the $400,000. But the second you stop making payments, you owe them three hundred plus thousand. How about that fraudulent behavior? Oh, I'm going to approve you for $400,000 again to a house, but I'm never going to give you the cash to buy it. I'm going to just tell you that you're approved by a push of a button electronically. But if you start, if you stop making payments, suddenly the money's real. It was never real in the first place until you started owing money. Oh, you trusted the other people with the student loan money, right? And now when I go into your credit report, I see you owe $80,000, $100,000 plus for student loan. It's very interesting that you can get student loans that put you in debt you get a mortgage that puts you in debt, but they won't give you the business credit though. It's harder to get business lines of credit than it is to get a credit line for way more than you need for your business to go into debt for a house or for education. That doesn't even empower you or give you a guarantee that you're gonna make that money back. Why is that? Why is it easier to be approved for a lot more money as opposed to the lesser amount for a business loan. Why is it easier to get approved for a house you can't afford that they know analytically, based on the subprime prices, we already learned this. Why is it easier to get approved for hundreds of thousands of dollars that you can't afford? They will even go out your way and boost your credit so you can be approved for a loan that they know you're gonna go into default in inside of three to five years or five to seven. So they can write it off as a gift when it goes into default and sell it over to somebody else while they leave you paralyzed because now it's on your credit and it's going to take seven years or more just to get off that bankruptcy unless you're dealing with a brother polite to take it off. doesn't matter if you think you got good credit because if your credit is that good, you should be able to have black cards. You should be able to get loans of $200,000, $300,000 easily. So if you can't get it, but your score looks like a 750, it just means that you got a slim file, which means you haven't earned or loaned yourself enough credibility from the bureaus to believe that you can handle that type of money. That's why we add positive items to your report. That's why the price 
of the service remains $2,000 no matter what because we still have to correspond with 30 different credit bureaus and financial institutions. We want to see another testimonial? You want to see another one? All in the folder. Don't worry. It's going to get edited up. So I ain't got to do this phone to phone thing. I just got them all on this phone. Makes it easier. Hey, hello, good people. My name is Michael. Um, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. I stumbled over the polite on one of the social media platforms. And um, I was a little bit skeptical at first um, if I should go ahead with this uh, credit building and all of this stuff. But for some weird reason, I decided to trust in him. I, I hardly trust people when it comes to meeting with people on social media. And uh, I paid the two thousand dollars. That was a week and four days, a week and three days ago, or four days ago. But trust me, my credit right now is almost a hundred points. I'm being, I don't know what to say. I'm short of words. But look, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to log into my account. And I will show you my point. Watch out for the next video. Brother Polite, I don't know if you see this video, but I just want to say thank you for what you have done. God bless you. And um, keep, you know, doing this for the community. It's a blessing. That's who you are. This is what I think. I don't know about what other people think, but you are a blessing to the community. And once again, watch out for my next video. Thank you so much. Have a very wonderful yeah, day. Yes, so my brother, my African brother said I'm a blessing. But he lives in, I think he said Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm just showing you different people, different versions of us, different parts of America. That's why I broke it down that way. I have people from all over, all over. Yes, it works in Canada for sure. We got a bunch of Canadian residents. I could just do a whole bunch of Canadian videos, Canadian testimonies to show you how, how I cook. This is what I do. I mean, I look or sound the way you want me to. I, I definitely ain't credentialed because I'm a ninth grade dropout. But it is what it is. I mean, I dropped out 10th grade, but, you know, very early, the second I started. But yeah, it's $2,000. $2,000. When you're ready, email me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You've seen the video of me talking, so don't talk to me about the, all the fake pages. We know all the fake pages exist. From out my mouth, brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T-45 at gmail.com. I'm not talking to you through no WhatsApp or no Facebook Messenger. Or please DM me. I don't ask people to hit me up in the comments and DM me. I don't comment in the comment section and say, please hit me up. I don't do stuff like that. Email me at brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T-45 at gmail.com. Leave your full name and your phone number. We have a new website that will be coming out and we'll commence our stock courses again so we can keep you making money off of stock so when you get that that bread from the settlements and that all these uh, loans the employee retention credit the ERC one of these uh, testimonials here actually are receiving 200 of uh, almost almost a quarter million dollars because they're giving you about 26,000 26,500 for every employee so long as it's not 1099 employees they got to be w2 employees so for each of the uh, w2 employees that you have, not 1099, the employee retention credit. A lot of you, by the way, it's a treasury and the IRS. If you have a business and you lit with employees, oh my goodness, 26 bands of each employee, you're gonna be due. Especially if you get confirmed that you've been affected by the pandemic in some shape, form, or fashion, which who hasn't? Come on now, talk to me nice. And I really don't even need these testimonies. I could just teach the truth and you look up what I teach and all the free information I've been giving out checks out. I demonstrate my lifestyle from one year to the next. You can clearly see. I haven't missed yet. So what are we really talking about here? It's just excuses. People, they grow some out. Well, you know, it's, I just don't want to take the risk. My man, you sell drugs for a living. You risk your life and your freedom. Fuck is you talking about $2,000 is a risk. This one shaking her ass, prostituting herself. You risk somebody, some overzealous person looking to kidnap you. Compromise the integrity of your energy being touched by so many people. And maybe even STDs, depending on how far you go. 
but you worrying about risking two thousand dollars and investing yourself to see to it that you never even have to be in that line of business again. Email me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. It's cognitive dissonance. That's what it's called, cognitive dissonance. When someone proposes to you something that's in conflict with the truth that you already have accepted, many of us can't grasp the concept of, the concept of you know what, maybe I was wrong. Maybe something I was doing wasn't right. It's very hard for people to grasp that concept. But nonetheless, brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number. When you're ready, make this money, change your life. Don't look back. You're getting me as your mentor, so I'm going to coach you. And I'm going to teach you about various opportunities that you can use to grow your monies. Now, who does that? Who helps you get money? Like, imagine if the student loan people that help you get the money taught you to make sure that you could turn it around and make sure you're never going debt. Imagine if the people who gave you your house or you bought your house from, right, that gave you the loan for the house but never showed you the money so you could take the money and actually buy the house, but just told you you got to prove that you got the house, gave you your flowers and your roses, and then sold you a uh, tenant CD, like you're a tenant of your own house because you don't own it, a tenant CD or a warranty deed. That's a whole other conversation, right? Tenant CDs. But congratulations, you're the new owner until you stop paying. Now you owe all this money you never saw in the first place because the truth be told, the money never existed. This was a bonded promissory note that they consolidated everybody else's debt obligations into one. Because the commercial bank is working off of commissions for the private investment bank. And they're getting 5 10% because the commercial banks don't have the capital to fulfill the interest. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why they have mortgage-backed securities, which pays for the debt of the people that don't pay for their properties by way of using prison labor and insurance policies out after people that die in the military and so forth and so on. It's called a mortgage-backed security. But anyway, who cares about this information? Make your money, get yourself out of the statistical disposition of the predicted failure that you are to be and put yourself into that 5%, because only 5% of Americans, over 366 million people live in America now, and only 5% of them, less than 5% of them, will achieve wealth, which begins at over $150,000 a year after expenses. If you have 150 grand left after expenses, you have the ability to be wealthy if you have 150 grand after all expenses at the end of the year. That is the ability to grow your money. Most of us is not in a position to have $150,000 left over after the year because our income to expense ratio is greatly compromised. That's why we have to employ the 50, 30, 20 principle. 50% of your money goes towards obligation, 30% towards miscellaneous social exercise activity, and 20% goes into debt, worth building, your credit, and savings, as well as investments. Only 20%, 50, 30, 20 but many of us can't manage the 50, 30, 20 principle. But you get all this information when you sign up. First, we will improve your credit. We're most likely going to add positive items to your credit report because you're going to need that to be approved of what you need to get to the monies that you have to pay back. What's up, King? I, I saw your text. Yeah, you can could, you could take all of it out. That, that works even better. I don't... I, Okay, that's good. Oh, towards me? Perfect. Uh, how far you are? That's perfect. All right, brother. I'll text you that. I'll be on. I'll be there. I'll, I'll text you. Peace. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. You know, about to go make a run. Just on a little staycation. You know what I mean? A little staycation. <laughs> but thank you guys for your love and support. Appreciate y'all so much. You know what I'm saying?
People look for excuses not to do what they got to do. You show them all the people making their bread. But what about, but how come this person doesn't, but how come, ask them, I don't about none of that. Because there ain't nothing a man could do once you got set in your mind, you're going to fail. There's nothing you can do. You can get the truth, you can get the facts, you can get testimonials, you can get celebs, you can get friends, you can get family, you can, you can get strangers. No combination of those things is good enough. But you know, that's a lot of bread, you know, it's a risk. You out here drug dealing, you out here selling your ass, it's still a risk though. There's nothing you can say to certain people. So I ain't out here to headlock you. Oh, why should we trust you? Man, fuck you. Real talk. Fuck you mean. I ain't petitioning to nobody to trust me. I'm giving you the facts. You want to come up, you come up. But what I'm tired of is people who have less than me tell me how I should spend my money. Why don't you open up schools? Why don't you empower yourself and get the money that you say you need to fulfill your destiny of opening up a bunch of schools. Stop telling me what to do with my money. Stop telling other people what to do with their money. Get the money, your damn self, and show us how it's done. Stop assuming who I give money to or what I don't give to, what causes I should give. It's easy for you to sit here and try to be driving the wheel to, the, to my investment vehicles. It's always a damn excuse. Make your bread and do what you feel. Do what you conceive to be the best thing or the right thing to do with the money. Stop telling me what to do with mine. Always a damn excuse. Then I show you how to get access to the money. It, it costs too much. Believe me, you squander two thousand dollars every year easily. And I used to charge three thousand. It don't cost too much. It costs too little. It's just I'm being patient because I know my shit works. So I'll get my bread on the back end when your settlements come in, when you get those employee retention credits, when you get those grants, when you get those loans. That my team makes sure we. When when you sign up with me, you have at your disposal my attorneys. My accountants, my financial advisors. Fuck you think you're getting approved of the loans like this? Because I'm tapped in. I'm tapped in. So I'm making it easier for people because it would cost you just to have these people on retainer. The people who say they ain't already got the money already. I'm tapped in and I'm smart enough to make sure we employ some kind of reciprocity, meaning that which is mutually beneficial. Meaning, I'm going to make sure I get mines when you get yours. And if I can't get mines when you get yours, then you ain't getting yours from me. And that's okay. That's legal. Because we all should be able to use each other for something. Using each other covertly is evil. But putting it out on front street, hey, I'm going to work with you to get this bread. But this is what I expect of you after you get the bread. But this is, what, this is your entry fee. To keep us honest. You pay for the service, you run off fine. At least you made me a little three, four hundred dollar profit. Cause I do have to pay the assistant, the caseworker. Yo, pay for the mail. I got, shit. I got things to pay for when you get involved. So picture me paying for everybody to come in on a promise. No, pay your two thousand up front. It's the least you could do. Cause if we just only boosted your credit, we change your life. Cause boosting your credit is a guarantee. I promise you that. Play with me. I got new testimonies I'm going to load up tomorrow, too. Separate from these ones. I got a whole folder right now. A whole folder. Loaded. And I can show you a thousand testimonies and people will still be like, I don't know, though. <laughs> it's never nobody else's fault. Always mine. Passing the buck. Failure to be accountable. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. About to meet my family. Take them out for some lunch. They're already eating lunch. I stopped to build with the people. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Leave your full name, your phone number. You saw the testimonies. You know what's up. Lessons in abundance. That's how we doing this. <laughs> we getting to the chicken, man. Because guess what? At the end of the day, I've been doing this for years. And all you see me, more cars, Better living, still healthy, great skin, which is a testament to living good. At least eat good. Nervous system ain't in shock. You, you feel what I'm saying? Sixty to ninety business days. Sixty to ninety business days. We're gonna send letters and affidavits to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike for the purposes of removing negative items off your report, adding positive items to your report, boosting your credit scores, and leveraging your results so that you're approved for monies that you don't have to pay back. 
can range anywhere from 50 grand to 300 grand. And we're not going to stop at the first set of money because there's a lot of money out here that can be made available to a lot of you based on which demographic you are part of. And some of you fit into several different demographics. Some of you have businesses for at least two years so we can get you money. Some of you have businesses that have at least uh, 10 employees. So you meet, you're part of a demographic that money's going to be allotted to you, especially if you feel you was impacted by the recent events of people getting sick. I don't like them soliciting their stuff. Once you say a certain word, then they start putting their advertisements for people to get their shots and all that. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, if you have a trust, we can get monies to you. If you feel like you may have been involved with the breach that took place uh, uh, amongst uh, Equifax or Asperian, there's money out there for you. Of course, you should feel like you was impacted or that your identity is compromised. But first, you would have to know that it was compromised in the first place. And then you have to be able to articulate it properly by way of an affidavit of fact, a compendium and a memorandum. And then mail it out properly with the right return address by way of an attorney so they can deal with you expeditiously. Like there's a way to do things the right way. The same way I mastered African history and did my comparative studies of monotheistic religions and retrospect to them being influenced by cultures of antiquity, it's the same energy, the same zealousness that I applied when it came to coming out of poverty. I sit here and I study my ass off intently because I don't want my soul to go astray, so that's why I study spirituality so much. But I also don't want to be broken. I want to be able to do for my family in ways that my parents were never able to accomplish. We talked to a man whose father left at the age of eight. Gave back in my life later on, in a few, way later, but you know, cons- a little, I guess you could call it consistent, I don't know. Left me at the age of eight on my birthday. Mama died the week that I met her. When I turned 17, I had seven days with my mother. This is my life. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't make no damn excuses. So I'm not really in the mood to listen to none of y'all excuses. I'm really not in the mood. I'm from East Flatbush, the Nine Ounce. One of the craziest hoods you could ever hear of in, in Brooklyn, in New York in general. Do you feel me? And they know who I am over there. Maybe not the new generation. I don't know what they doing out there. But if you in your 30s, your 40s, you probably know. I was walking straight down Rutland Road to go to George Wingate High School. You know what's up where the 90s turns into the 50s and used to have BMW gang over there and we had the, the, the Decepticons and Baby D sets and, and the low lives. Like, come on, this is where I'm from. When I was wearing iceberg head to toe, if it wasn't that, it was, Goop, it was Coogee. These are facts and anybody that know me knows. I, I always was lit. I ain't never been a bum. I always figured it out. Juvenile detention, back home, making my bread. Rikers Island, back home, making my bread. Doesn't matter. Uh, every time I hit... I spend the block, I, I get back on the streets. I was always about getting my bread. But thank goodness I ain't got to do nothing illegal. And this is what I want to remove my good brothers and sisters from. Taking unnecessary risk when there's money available out here for you to change your lives. Because at the end of the day, most of the people that's doing power moves and making power moves, the movers and the shakers, they're using insurance monies and they're using credit to change your life. They are not really sitting here with bags of money under their mattress that they save from one year to the next check after check after check. That's not really what's going on. They're not really working double and triple overtime in two or three different jobs to get ahead in life. They're really not doing that. They're using insurance monies. They're using insurance in real time instead of dying. Whole life insurance policies. You can borrow against those policies to purchase real estate. Information we never get taught. You relying on 401ks, you have a whole nother group of people relying on their QRPs, Qualified Retirement Plan, which is cash and tax deferrable compensation arrangement plan. And if they want to invest or uh, uh, conduct a distribution or take monies out of their pension to invest in real estate, they could do that without penalty. Or if you, if you want to take your pension plan and roll over your contributions, the money thereof, into another pension plan, you could do that freely, freely if it's coming from your traditional retirement account into a QRP. But any other time, it'd be a penalty for you to get your own money that you work so hard for if you get it prematurely 
That is to say, if you take money out your pension before 66 or 67, because they want you to get your money around 66, 67, 68, the later you wait, the more opportunity they give you. But at the same rate, the lifetime expectancy for us these days is 72 years old. So by the time you retire, you'll be dead inside of five years. Then where does the money go? And then your property is in probate because you didn't get a trust. And a trust is property held on behalf of one so that another may benefit. And you're not wise enough or cognizant enough to know to set up a trust, be it a living trust or irrevocable trust or what have you, so you can retitle your properties to the trust and then take the trust and assign it to an insurance policy that add or compound interest to your insurance policy. So it's called assigning the trust to your insurance policy to increase the equity. And then making sure your insurance policy is one that you could borrow against, meaning that you could access monies out of your insurance policy before you die and use it for education, medical, real estate. Things that we don't care to know about because people make fun of you, subject you to ridicule when you're in the hood talking to shit that nobody give a fuck about this kind of conversation. And the people in the conscious community, they don't care about this conversation. So I got to get so-called blackballed because I give a fuck about it. And everybody got to make me out to be the devil because, you know, uh, money's the root to evil and all this other goofy shit. But they sure pass that collection plate around in the church. Money's evil. But they sure pass that evil around in the church, though. That evil get widespread in the church. Money's so damn evil. Hmm. Talk to me nice, man, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. What the fuck is they really talking about? <laughs> but hey, what do I know? Like I said, I probably say I'm a, I'm a ninth grade dropout. I, pro I, I probably say that. That mean I wasn't taught the same way. I got a lot of my sense from the streets. Learned the hard way, granted. But if I, if I had to do it over again... I still take the knowledge I learned from the streets. It made me more wittier from some of these motherfuckers coming with the flu flam and the fish market shit. I, I knew a scam when I heard it. So with this mortgage shit and buying this property here and, and, and these bank accounts and, oh, just use your card 15 times and we won't charge you. And, oh, now we have these overdraft fees. You, we are going to allow you to go into overdraft up to $1,000. Reverse engineering a credit card. This is predatory loans. This is predatory lending. Creating what people conceive to be opportunities that work to their disadvantage financially. If a motherfucker ain't had the money in the first place, why do he need a, a better opportunity to go negative from his bank account? Fuck is that? But you don't trust the homie though. But you trust motherfuckers that put you in debt for 100 bands called student loans. You see what I'm talking about? The real fucking frauds. You guys ain't never get an email from Wells Fargo or Chase or something that you might be part of a class action lawsuit because some of the illegitimate shit take place. And y'all still go around and open up another bank account. You got to get ready to get into fintech solutions. A whole new form of banking, a whole new form of mobile banking, electronic banking. You got to get into a new world and transition because this shit is outdated and it's for the birds. When I talk to you about <clears throat> credit cards that you don't have to pay back. Like, when I talk to y'all about this X1 and all this other stuff, and, and let, me, let me just do this. Because people be saying my name ain't on the cards and stuff. That's my name there, man. Like, come on, man. Let's be for real. Like, I ain't got to lie. This X1. Smart card. No late fees. Only 350,000 people in the world is part of this global membership. Seeing is knowing. I don't do this to show off. I don't do this shit to show off. Come on, man. Heavy fucking metal here. I grew up in hip-hop. But as I got old, I started realizing I need to start fucking with heavy metal. The fuck is they talking about here? Like, what are, they, what are they really talking about here? You feel me? Black card. Black card. You hear this? Come on, man. Heavy fucking metal. And I still got my, my, uh, okay, cool. My heavier tummy in here. You know, just when I want to make somebody sick, I see a little racist, you know? I'll go buy some groceries. I, it's the only time I kick out the debit card. You know, just, just make a racist white man or woman a little sick. 
Wakanda forever. Let's get this money. It's really not that. It's really not that difficult. It's really not that difficult. But seeing is knowing. So what y'all call showing off is just me talking my shit. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. The Robin Hood. This is lit. The Robin Hood card. This is litty. The Robin Hood card. Woo! Nigga, 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 nigga. Let me make sure. You want to see my name? Like, come on, man. You see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. I ain't got time to keep playing around these fucking games. Because once I make an error, then my shit lit up. And then I got to switch up because you niggas is out there, you know, wilding out out there. Just like, catch a nigga lacking. <laughs> ain't about to catch me lacking, you heard? You feel me? Enough is enough. Don't try to get me. I'm the, I'm the one giving back to the people. Get these other motherfuckers. Start, get the banks. Get them. Like, lit, light their ass up. Don't light me up. I'm restoring grace. I want you guys to become my neighbors. Come up with me, Jerry. About to really do this shit. It's showtime. Come on, we in the fourth quarter. Life getting difficult by the day. We in the fourth quarter. Go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Leave your full name and your phone number when you're ready to make this money. We in the fourth quarter. It's clutch. It's clutch. The price of living is becoming more and more expensive. The scams by the major banks is becoming more and more lucrative for them and more destructive and it sets us at a disadvantage more and more by the day. Come on now. Fucking president was like, yo, man, we about to relieve people of the student loan shit. Congress stepped in there like, man, the fuck we will. <laughs> what you talk about, man? We ain't about to do that. We ain't letting go of that. You know all that bread we making? Putting these people into a debt that they thought they was never going to be in in the name of getting an education? I done saved myself hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt just by dropping out of school. You know how fucked up a society we in when I can say that and, it, and, and it's valid? And it makes sense? Man, don't get me into my rants. Motherfucker well, can't even get a $10,000 loan for his business, but can get a $200,000 approval for a house he can't afford. I can't get $10,000 for a business loan, but I can get tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars more to get an education I can't afford and homes I can't afford, but not the loan I need for my business so then I don't have to borrow money to get my education. Does that make sense? Then your credit is messed up and you can't do nothing after that. But you trust them, and those are strangers. You ain't at least got an opportunity to run down on me in the streets. You don't even know who the hell is responsible for clicking those buttons when you're on the phone and signing all these docs. But you trust them. You love the devil because he gives you nothing. We're going to sign off on that before I start really going in. We're going to talk about who the real scammers are, though. Black people begin in. Exploited by the real scammers for years and then turn around looking at each other like we're the problem But every time we got a black community on the rise the shit get burnt the fuck down, but you don't want to talk about the real scammers though You see I got you though When you're ready to spend two thousand dollars to get access to fifty to three hundred thousand dollars That you don't have to pay back in any other number of opportunities that you don't have to pay back a caseworker That's gonna deal with your credit me as your mentor that's gonna prepare you for the money's coming in so you don't squander it. You have a, a, a working business model and a vision that you can get checked out by somebody who's credentialed, who purportedly knows more than me, that legally can give you financial advice. Please do that before following through with anything that I share with you. Take what I share and then send it to someone else. Make sure it gets their stamp of approval. You might be educating them too low key, but hey. Damn shame I got to say shit like this. But it is what it is. Email me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Make sure you spell polite, P-O-L-I-G-H-T-4-5. Pride, optimism, love, integrity, gallant, honesty, and trust. Share this video when it pops out. Make sure you like it to increase the algorithm because you know they're always knocking my vibes. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Blessings and abundance. Leave your full name and phone number when you're ready. Let's run the numbers up and let us all be eating. Let's all take a trip to, to, to Ghana and, and go crazy. At least over there, they give you something because you're black over there. We playing around. Yeah. 
they giving restitution to black people over there. You want your you want your reparations over here. They admitted their hand in slavery over there. You go over there with a business model. Boom, you got it. Don't be afraid. We can go overseas and get it popping. We can really create that Wakanda. That's another conversation we need to have. Now, I've been over there several times. I know the vibes. I've been there with Nana Kwame Bidiaka. Okay, who's building a whole city in Accra, Ghana. He brought me out there to work with him on some books, some movies, and uh, real estate opportunities. He's a legitimized prince that actually has bread. Because I know there's a lot of prince and kings in Africa, and they may not have the most money. though. will be prince and kings. I get it. One doesn't necessarily mean the other, but he actually has the baggie. He's a very good brother. Not a Kwame. But anyway, lessons of the abundance. I'm getting into too many things. But yeah, they definitely giving black people their share. If you're from America, it's the only place I've ever been to in the world. Me being an African-American meant that I could have some property or something. I'm like, wow. And um, why are we bitching, moaning, and groaning in America again? But like, you ain't even got passports because they hemmed you up with the child support or something. Like, we got to get all of this right. We got to get all of this right. Touch base with God. Blessings in abundance. Send your full name and your phone number when you're ready. Talk to me nice. I love you all. It's, this is out of love. I didn't mean to disrespect nobody. It's just passion and conviction. And I'm a bit annoyed. <laughs> you feel me? But it's, it's more love than it is anything else. So if I offended anybody, believe me, that was not my intention to be rude or disrespectful to anybody on the stream. My intention is to empower you, make you more cognizant of opportunities that exist. And whether you were able to pay the $2,000 now, you can get started and go in some direction. Or you could be optimistic that you don't have to stay in that rut for too long. That's the goal. Motivation. No gossip. Talk to me nice. Only when you're ready. Forward us your full name and your phone number. Peace.